Hey pilots, I'm Hans for Precision Aerobatics. A question that we get asked a lot, and it becomes the topic of today's PA Tech Tips video, is spinner fitment. So you'll see here out of this brand new 2.17 inch spinner, it'll fit the prop okay, but it won't fit the back plate. Now before you get upset and think, oh they screwed up, we didn't. We did this on purpose. If your PA kit has anything that seems too small or undersized, that was purposefully done that way to make sure that you would fit it and give it the best possible fit. So what we have to do is we have to open up the window for our propeller cross section to fit within our spinner here. A couple ways to do that, but before we get started we need to know two things. One is if we're going to be making dust with carbon fiber we need to protect our respiratory system. I'm not actually going to be doing anything, otherwise you'd see me in a, uh, in a paint respirator is what I have, uh, but a, a mask, one of those little uh, cheap hardware store masks will work, anything to keep this fine dust part particles outside of your lungs. Uh, the second thing to know is we can't have any part of the wood prop actually touching the spinner. Now because there's a lot of vibration as we make power changes and this, this, these, these blades will resonate a frequency which will come down and transfer into our carbon fiber here and could blow your carbon fiber spinner cone completely apart. So when we make these adjustments to the size of the opening, we need to take into account for a little gap around them. One method and the method I had been using, it's kind of the long road approach, is with a set of needle files. I don't do this anymore. This is really time intensive. You had to find a round needle file and I'd sit there and I'd, I'd just shape this thing by hand. But if you have to take a lot of material away, as is the case with a large diameter prop like this, and again, larger the prop, probably the more material you're gonna have to take away, uh, this just, it takes a long time and it's not a very rewarding process and your hands are all covered in dust. So what, uh, what we do with PA now is we use a Dremel tool. Let's take advantage of tools. Dremel uh, sells attachments, uh, two different diameter sanding drums, one large, one small. They sell different grits. I would recommend using the finer grit. This is an example of a much finer grit sanding wheel than this one. Uh, but the small one might be the better choice to use for fine detail shaping as you work the edges here because certainly this is going to create, I think, a, a pretty nice contour profile as it works itself into that material and we would open up have to open up around all sides to accommodate for this propeller. To show you what it looks like here's my Katana 52. You see what we're going for is we want to see light around the prop. Better to take off a little too much material here than to leave some on there. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's symmetrical more than anything because we don't want to throw this off of balance. Now these are super, super light and they don't need to be balanced because they're so light. The factory takes enough care when they lay them up to make sure that everything is even. And that is direct word coming from Sean at Precision Aerobatics, the man behind the company. So don't take the time to balance your spinner, but if you make adjustments to it, try to keep it even so you don't send it out of balance. All right. Thanks for watching today's tech tip. We hope you're enjoying your Precision Aerobatics airplane. Happy flying.